Good morning. Welcome back to another Film Geek movie review. Just about ready to hit the road and go to the day job. But beforehand, let's talk about my new movie review today, and that is The Woman King. The Woman King is starring Viola Davis. Most of you might know Viola Davis from the movie The Help, but I also know her as someone else, and that is Amanda Waller from the DCEU. She has played Amanda Waller in, well, pretty much anything that Amanda Waller's been in in the films. She was in the original Suicide Squad, the James Gunn Suicide Squad, the Peacemaker TV show. She's going to make an appearance in Black Adam in October. I don't know how big of a role she has in the film, but Amanda Waller is one of my favorites. Favorite freaking DC characters who I guess you would say wouldn't have superpowers. She maybe she does. I don't know. I haven't been following my comics in a long time, but she was always one of my favorites, the head of Argus. Anyways, anyways, enough about <laughs> enough about DC comics and Amanda Waller. Let's talk about Viola Davis's new film, The Woman King which is a historical action film that's based off of a real female tribe or female um, warriors out of Africa. Now, I honestly, I'm going to tell you the truth here, guys. Um, I know my U.S. history fairly well, but honestly, I'm not very good at my world history. Now, I do know that these, these folks did exist, but I don't believe like the character Viola Davis is playing in the film. I don't believe that she's a real character or a real person. I think that she's just a character for the film. I believe this is just kind of a um, alternative alternative history thing despite the fact that this is a real group of people that did exist I don't know exactly how historically accurate the the film itself is it honestly it looks like it's just gonna be a really cool action film that's about some real history type stuff and and then you know some other really cool stuff going on in the film that is basically what I'm gonna probably get out of this I'm not going to this movie for historical accuracy I'm going to this film to be entertained and shove some popcorn in my mouth so all right guys uh, like I've said before it's time for me to head out the door here in a sec go to the day job and then I will be on the road to see the new movie the woman king starring viola davis Just getting home from checking out The Woman King, and let me tell you folks, I enjoyed this movie. It was pretty solid. Now, I'm going to start off with all the positives, and then I'll get into the very few negatives that I have about this movie. Alright, first off with the positives. The acting in this film is outstanding. Every single actor does a very good convincing job 
at their role. The standout performance in this film is Viola Davis. She is just fantastic as our lead actor in this film. Oh my god, she is so vicious, but yet heartwarming and endearing at the exact same time. She plays a very complicated character who has a lot of barriers to overcome, and she does a very good job in this role. The film itself is extremely well structured. It is a very well crafted film. Everything looks very, very good. The, uh, like I said, the cinematography is outstanding. Now, this isn't a bit of an action film. Now, I thought it was going to be more of an action film than it was. It's more of like an action drama, drama, uh, drama, drama action. Is that a thing? Is there such thing as drama action, action drama? Uh, I don't know. But anyways, this movie kind of falls into that genre. There's a, some really good intense drama in this film, and there's also some great action. The action in this movie is also ridiculously well done. Now, I do feel, and this is going to come into my negatives, but the PG-13 rating in this film really holds it back, especially in the fight sequences. Now, look, I don't need tons of blood and guts, but, you know, it unfortunately for me at least it takes me out of the immersion a little bit when there is no blood and guts like nothing none it's just sound effects and pullaways now i know this is not going to bother the normal goer to this film but for me personally i would have enjoy this movie a smidge more if they would have gone with an R rating. Now, I understand why this film has a PG-13 rating, because this movie is should be available to a wider audience. So, you know what, I'll... I won't take a point off for the PG-13 rating necessarily, because I understand where you're coming from with it. It just... Mm, it, it, it just didn't have that edge for me because of it. Okay couple other negatives number one was this film relies a little too heavily in some spots on pure coincidence and i just drives me freaking nuts i don't like it in films i especially don't like it in real life i don't like it it's just like oh okay so it happened because it happened okay moving on i i don't like that and this film does it a couple of times and it's a little on the annoying side again this is not something that's probably going to annoy many people it just bugged me and you know what honestly that's about it there are some plot points that were like and i didn't really like but at the same time i can't necessarily say anything because then i'll be giving away spoilers so i guess the best way to explain exactly how i feel about this film is to go ahead and decide what letter grade i am going to give this movie and you know what guys the more i thought about it the more i think this film is a very solid b plus it's very good it's very well done i just really can't get over these coincidental things it drives it down for me and it just hurts the rating of the movie a little bit but then again this is something that i noticed i don't feel like a lot of people out there are going to give two shits about what i'm upset about so that being said folks get out there check out this movie because i really think this is going to be one of those big hits of is it still summer is it fall yet what the what the hell season are we in it's still hot as balls in missouri i don't know what it's like anywhere else but it sure as hell isn't fall right now so maybe this is the last big hit of the summer all right guys well that's all i have for you thanks for checking out the film geek if you liked what you saw here today go ahead and subscribe to the channel ring that bell for notifications and uh give me the old thumbs up so i know you like what you're seeing and if there's another thing you can do folks that is keep watching movies you know i'm gonna <laughs>